Hi guys, Chelsea. Um, today's video, why am I always out of breath? I've already look, literally ran up the stairs. Like, it's a good job I'm going to go to this boot camp tomorrow because, well not tomorrow, Monday. What day is it today? Saturday. Yeah. So I'm going to this boot camp that's going to be like training me four times a day. So anyway, I hope everyone likes the new blonde hair. I actually feel like back to myself and like I'm just over the moon. So today's video is going to be about my handbags i know loads of people have like asked me about them before so i'm just gonna i'm not gonna do every single one because it's quite a lot so i'm just gonna go through like my favorite ones my special ones how much i pay for them like some of them are ridiculous so um yeah so i'll just get started so why should we go first obviously we'll start with the biggest and the bestest bestest that's not a word so the birkin this is an Hermes Birkin 35 in Togo leather. It is the colour Geranium, I think it's called. Um, so it's like obviously a beautiful like red colour. I added this multicoloured like twilly because I felt like it would go with more outfits because it has like all different colours. You can change these. Obviously, you buy them separate. They're about a hundred and something just for the just for the this but the bag i bought it second hand because i don't know if you know this but it's actually really hard to go and buy a birkin not that i've tried and um, i've just seen it on like youtube videos and stuff and uh, you can just go in the shop and buy a birkin so um basically there's like a waiting list or you've got to be like uh, in with the brand and you've got to have bought loads of stuff for hermes before and there's nothing really in hermes that i would wear personally the shoes the belts not really my cup of tea so um i bought this off somebody who is a avid hermes shopper and i paid seven thousand second hand and uh, i got the receipt and everything like that with it um and yeah it's obviously a beautiful bag but i just never ever use it because number one don't want to ruin it because it's worth loads of money and number two it's just too big for me like it literally like i'm only a little five foot four so this just looks huge on me i don't think to see it just looks huge on me so i prefer like little bags um, so that's my most expensive bag in the whole wardrobe and obviously it's a classic it'll be worth money in the future as long as I keep it in the good condition that it's in so uh, I'm not worried that I've spent seven thousand on it because I know I could sell it and probably make money on it in the future so let's go on to my favorite bag well it's hard to say what my favorite is because I love like loads of them in their own different ways but my probably my it's really rare and it's hard to get hold of and because the Kardashians like posted something it just went through the roof the price so I got a mini, mini speedy Louis Vuitton. And you know what? I literally seen this on, I think it was Kylie Jenner's. Or, no, Kim Kardashian posted that she'd got all the little, the, the kids and nieces and nephews. She'd got them all this, like brand new. I don't know where she got it from because the, you can't get these brand new anymore. Um, and as soon as I seen I posted, I thought I'm going to get that because it's going to go up in price. So God knows how much someone paid for this originally, but it would have been cheap because Louis Vuitton bags obviously have gone up and up and up over the years. I bet someone paid like 200 quid for this brand new and then I paid 800 for it second hand, but it would be worth more in the future. So hard to get hold of, like you literally can't get these. Like I hardly even see anybody on Instagram with it or anything. So it's a classic. So moving on to what else? Um, so this one is also what I've seen the Kardashians have. It's actually really fucking dirty now, if you can see. It's a Chanel flu, flu, neon fluo. No, something like that. Ne neon fluo or something like that. Anyway, so I've seen one of the Kardashians. I think it was Chloe Kardashian with it. And all neon was in at the time. This is probably my biggest regret in the wardrobe like i paid like five thousand pound to get this from america and when it came they hadn't paid the duties on it or whatever so i paid an extra grand i think that was the price either four grand and i paid extra grand or five grand and i paid extra grand whatever it was it was fucking overpriced and i've basically made it all fucking dirty but i can get it clean but i just never use it to be honest like it's a lovely bag and everything can not see but it's the right shape right size but i just never fucking use it and it just now it's dirty, I'm just not that bothered anymore. A couple of others. This one and the pink one are both obviously classics. These are Chanel um, Rectangular Mini, I think it's called. Um, I love them. They're obviously like gorgeous. This one's called Tiffany Blue. This one's just, I don't know, baby pink. I don't know what the exact term is. This one was actually bought for me by my ex-boyfriend. Not he didn't pay for it, but... Because we're still on really good terms, I've seen he was in Paris with his new girlfriend. 
we've been split up a few years and we're still good friends so i was like please 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 will you see if they've got the tiffany mini rectangular in the chanel shop and him and his girlfriend went in bless them and bought it for me obviously i sent them the money but um that is quite a rare bag to get hold of as well like all the chanel classics are quite like rare and they do go up in value like, even since i bought that i think i paid about i can't remember the exact price it was uh, close to three grand and now they've gone up to like three and a half in the shop so it's, it's still brand new i hardly even use them like i reach for the same bags like all the time so um the, the chanel's are obviously like um worth a lot of money so this one was probably one of my first designer handbags it was bought for me by another ex-boyfriend but he actually paid for this one um he was fuming because it was nearly two thousand pound he was like oh my god two thousand pound for a handbag i could get a car for that and i was like I don't know if we're happy or not. <laughs> yeah, so I got this off one of my ex-boyfriends. It was probably more than any other bag in there. And it's still in amazing condition. Like, literally, like, it's got, like, loads of marks on it and stuff. But, yeah, it was absolutely lush. And it goes with, like, anything. So it's black. It's studded. It's quirky. Like, it's got that. Because I don't really like plain black, like, to be honest. So I get a bit bored. Obviously, I have got just a plain black one, which is my Givenchy and Anitoga. And I don't know how you pronounce it. Anitoga or whatever. Um, just, you know, if I'm having a jazzy outfit and I just need a plain black, that's like me boringest, most boring bag in the whole of the wardrobe. Uh, I also bought a white Anitoga. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, this one, which I have used quite a lot, actually, considering I, do, I wouldn't have thought I would use white. And I have got, it, like, makeup and stuff on it already. Um, but, yeah, I actually love this one. I've seen an influence, a influencer with it. So I was like, oh, my God, need. So that's those ones. Um, I, I also love personalised, anything personalised with my initials, my name, whatever. So I got this cute little... It's like a little purse, like really you should use it for like coins and stuff like that. But I love it because it's got me CF. So I've also got, wait for it, the Speedy with my initials on it. So the original, the normal Speedy uh, Louis Vuitton, this shape is the 25. And this would usually be around seven, 800 just for the plane without the initials. But I paid like 1300 because I wanted it like to be different. There's so many fakes around. So like when you've got your initials on it, you know, you know that people know that it's real. Like I know that I would know it was real but if i've got the initials it's personal personal to me and also no one's going to steal it because what they're going to do with my initials on a bag i also have this suitcase this is like an overnight suitcase with my initials on and i just love anything i really want the big case like the um the huge one that but then it goes in the hold and they fling it around and it gets scratched and i just and they're about three thousand pound i just feel like if I spend £3,000 and they start flinging it about, I'm just going to fucking kick off. <laughs> so I feel like, no, I'd, I probably won't stretch for the big one. Also love this one, which is the personalised, obviously with my initials again, bum bag. Uh, the, ooh, <laughs> the original bum bag is like a 1000 I think. And I have got the original one as well. This one I wore a million times. Um, and then I seen that you could get it with your initials on it and I just I'm just a sucker for an, anything like anything that I can personalize so obviously I ordered this one as well and you can add your own badges on and stuff like that so next we'll go to the Balenciaga XSville top I think that's what they're called I've got these are a bit of a shit investment to be honest I, I must be honest I haven't, I'm not reaching for them anymore. They're cool. They're like on trend at the moment, but they're probably not going to hold their value. I think I paid about 1200 each for these ones. So they're not cheap, but they, they don't really hold their value probably either. But I just like the way they look up there. They're more like, they're more like ornaments really. I wouldn't sell them because they fit so perfectly on the shelf and stuff. The Celine's, I'm not that interested in. Then literally, I never ever fucking reach for them ever. Then I've got the Valentino studded bag, which I bought because I also have the Valentino boots. So I think, I don't know which one I bought first. Maybe I bought the boots or the bag. I don't know, I can't remember. So I have the boots match the bag, basically. But anyone who follows me knows that I don't fucking wear heels. So I hardly, I've, I have worn them a few times in Vegas and stuff, but I don't really like wear heels. I don't really go out. <laughs> I don't really go out and drink it anymore. This, if anyone ever had a dance off me in any of these strip clubs, this was my bag that I used to use in the strip club every single night. And it's been worn. And I mean, like, fucking worn. Oh, there's still some chewing gum in there. <laughs> um, and yeah, I used to just put all my money in here. And then at the end of the night, I could barely shut it because it was so much money. <laughs> that sounds so forgetted. <laughs> right, what else have we got? 
These are also classics that I bought, like, because I love the um, the black multicoloured Louis Vuitton. I love these. Obviously, that you can't get them anymore. You can only buy them secondhand. So I bought this off a um, secondhand designer website. This is the Alma. Never reach for it because it's one that you've got to carry. Um, I like ones that I can just wear because I've always got my phone in my hand and I'm always busy. So I just always, like, I prefer ones that I can wear. I also bought... Um, this one which i don't even know what this one's called but i just bought it because it matched the other ones and these are all classics like they're never ever gonna lose value this is when louis vuitton brought out the new wave collection i think that's what it's called and i'm just a sucker for multicolor so i thought right that's so cute i love that and i actually love this bag right but it's so small inside so you can barely fit anything in it you can fit your phone you know lip gloss or whatever but I need when I go out like on a night out I need like a battery pack and everything because I can't afford my phone to die so um yeah I never ever use this one either I actually like sold quite a, well not sold but got rid of a few of my bags like recently I done a, like a bonus ball thing for charity and then I done some other stuff but um yeah basically that's like the majority of my bag and yeah so thanks for coming and watching this video I hope you liked it and uh, anything else you want to say or talk about then just shout at me <laughs> uh, i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe blah 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 and let me know anything else you want to see and i will speak to you soon bye